Hey, welcome to my video for what sold this week on eBay for the second week of May, 2017. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, it's going to be brief, I think, because I didn't have that many sales. So, uh, well, it's going to be brief. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and get started then. So the first thing it sold were these four Bakelite handle, uh, just flatware. It just, I had these around for a little bit. Let's see, um, I paid a buck for them, though, for the lot, and I listed them July 19th last year, 2016, sold them May 8th this year. I got $24 free shipping, so, yeah, it's alright, it's pretty good. Next. Now I bought this at my uh, local Goodwill store, and uh, I did not know at the time that they they charged two dollars for hats. I, I just for some reason figured it was a buck, you know what I mean? But really, two bucks I probably wouldn't have bought it, you know, at the time. But now I probably I might have. But I don't know, not this one. So anyway, yeah. I listed it November 2nd, 2015, so it's been listed for a long time. That's because I paid two bucks for it. I had to make some money on it, I thought, so I priced it a little higher. higher. But uh, it sold May 8th, and I got 10 bucks free shipping. So another killing. I got a, made a little bit on it, but not, not very much, but it's gone now. So, And it's you know another one of those things that I can pretend that helps me make a sale so maybe I'll make more sales so all right next and this is a well, that's a pair of pantyhose I got these at the at the niche in the last five dollar bag sale and you know I noticed something about and I just gotta say that the girl in the picture there if you look at the way her and it's probably I don't know I don't know if they if they it could be photoshopped in there but I like the way the makeup at the corner of her eye kind of blends. It kind of blends. It's, it doesn't stand right out like it's, you know, it, like, like her, her, it kind of blends. It just looks nice. Although you could say it's a black eye. But then, you know, I'm from the 80s, so that kind of stuff would would kind of would kind of look better. But I like the way that, it just like the way it kind of just like fades. It doesn't, it's just not like a line. It's not. It's not well well defined, but it's, it's I don't know. It just looks nice. I just had to say it. So anyway, I paid about ten cents. Listed these March thirty first. Sold February or sold the. Uh, turn that off there. Sold it on May eighth, and I got four bucks plus shipping. So yeah, I know four bucks, but hey, you know there's some buyers out there that are really happy that they can come to eBay. And buy that item for four bucks, and then they go to your listing and they buy something else from you for forty bucks. So that would be the way it would work for me. So, but that that'd be cool though because it would help you out. So, all right, next, pick these up at Goodwill one day. I paid seventy cents for the pair. It was buy one get one free or something. I know it was not buy one get one. It was. It was, uh, I used my half off card on all the other stuff that I bought, and these were in that lot that I bought that day. So, I got them half off, and, uh, oh, I listed them May 5th. They didn't last long, May 8th, and I sold them for, uh, five bucks, plus shipping, so I didn't lose no money on, on them. Next. Picky's up at Lowe's one day, uh, I was there with, um, my wife and she was looking at the cleaning supplies. Typically, I don't go in the cleaning supplies at, at Lowe's, and um, she was buying some of this because she uses it because she really likes it. And so it was on sale though. So they were a dollar a piece. Now I don't know how much they're how much they actually are, but typically this kind of stuff's a little pricey. So a buck a piece that was pretty good. So. I we bought we bought all of them, and we listed one lot of these, 
and she kept the rest because she uses them. So we listed we listed one lot and and uh, so it's six bucks I paid. We listed it March fifteenth and sold it May eighth, and we got twenty eight bucks plus shipping because you got to charge shipping. So and it has to go economy. You can't send it priority. I don't think because it's a spray can like that. So anyway, that was that. It was kind of neat. So I got a kick out of it, and I got to tell her, you know, you know, we sold that. So and I, I think she actually listed it. She actually listed. It. I took the pictures, but she did. She actually listed it. All right, next. This little men's hush puppies hat. I got this at the niche. Uh, I think no, nope. Got it at Goodwill. I paid two bucks for it, and I listed it September twenty second, two thousand sixteen. Sold it May 9th, two thousand seventeen. I got thirty dollars, free shipping. So they go first class. So, next, got these at Walmart. They were on sale a while back. The clearance. They were clearanced out. Uh, Westinghouse batteries. I paid three bucks a pack for them. Bought a bunch, and uh, I've sold a bunch of them now. I've sold, I don't know, probably six, seven of them, something like that. And so let's see. Uh, I listed these August twenty-first last year. Sold this pack on April seventeenth. I got eleven fifty plus shipping. Right? No, free shipping. Free shipping. So. Ouch, first class though, so next. I Omega Zip Drive. I got this at uh what did I get this? I got this at, at the Goodwill in Cowdersport, Pennsylvania. I was over there. I think I mentioned going over there to look at a cleaning job with my wife on one of my previous videos and we stopped at the Goodwill. And that's one of the things I bought while I was over there. And this I, I kept running this at auction and finally it got a bid. So I I paid I bought it clearance for thirty five cents, and uh, we uh, say I listed it April fourteenth. I sold it May 9th for eight ninety nine, but they did not pay. So that's gonna change some numbers. So this is a no sale. Okay. And that changes this to eighteen ninety nine, which I'll fix that. And there we go. It fixed it for me. That's cool. Already, that was interesting. I didn't know it would do that uh, spreadsheet. I had I had summed it before when I did it, and when I clicked out of if I just change that number, it actually subtracted it for me without because I already did it before. That's pretty, I think. So that was pretty neat. I didn't know it would do that. That was pretty cool. I'm not real familiar with using those things, so I just use them a little bit. So it was pretty neat. Okay. So anyway, yeah, she didn't pay. The pro, or he, whoever bought it, did not pay. So uh, it's relisted. That's sold yet. All right, next. This is just a little uh, snap folding up purse. I didn't really think it was very attractive, but I got it at the uh, I got it at the at the niche in the five dollar bag sale. So you know, but, I mean, it's nice on the inside and everything. It's clean and stuff. So it was a nice purse. I thought a nice. It was a nice finished purse, and I you know, obviously sold it cheap. Sold it at auction, one bid. I got two ninety nine for it. I paid uh basically nothing really I mean 10 cents maybe I think or wait no actually no this didn't come from this this came from this came from a house that my wife was the one I the one I, I told you about before that we went and she, well she cleaned it I just went and uh, cleaned out the, took a bunch of stuff out for the people that owned it so this was actually there was a, a red a red milk jug a big it was painted red it was about you know it was it was a short one. It wasn't very big for, you know, most milk jugs are, you know, like four feet high. And this one was maybe 15, 18 inches high. But I couldn't get the lid off. And there was, there was a hole cut in the top of the thing. So 
I went out and got a rubber mallet out of the uh, garage and I whacked the lid off. And there's several, there were several different wallets and stuff like that in there. No money on rats, you know, but there were several different little wallets like this, kind of like this and some rags and other stuff in there. But it was a, I figured it was a bank, so I thought maybe, you know, there'd be some cash in there, but there wasn't. So, uh, ah, dream, dream, dream. But anyway, yeah, so that's where I got this. So that's why I didn't pay nothing for it. That's what it is. So it actually paid me to take it away. So listed it March 20th, sold it May 9th. I got three bucks plus shipping. So next. Yeah, that I, basically those kind of things like that, I, you really shouldn't list them, you know. I do it kind of for fun just to see if I can do it. So it's not, I mean, if you're trying to make a living on eBay, don't, don't. Don't mess with that stuff, but you gotta have, I gotta have some fun and do some interesting things while I'm at it, so you never know, you know, somebody, you might get two people that want, want a bid, and that doesn't have much anymore, but anyway, so next we got this Maddie Alou uh, Wilson baseball glove, signed by Maddie Alou, well not signed, signed, but it's got Maddie Alou's signature on it there, right, uh, all right, there you go. Fieldmaster. And, uh, let's see, I, I did pay 35 cents for this at the niche, got it in a bag sale. And, let's see, they uh, listed it April 11th, sold it May 9th, and I got, I only got five ninety nine for it, so. But I made so much money off of those bags now that, that you know, that's fine, five ninety nine is cool. So. I think I was asking more for it, and I just kept coming down on the auctions or something. Something. I don't know. So, next. And this is a black and white photo. It was, uh, it was from a house I cleaned out last summer. And there was a lot of... Uh, I had my, When I had my yard sale, I found a bunch of photos. There was a bunch of photos from some of the stuff in there. And, you know, the family's already been, had already been through this property, so... It wasn't, um, it wasn't, nobody wanted them. You know, there was a lot of old pictures, and I, I, I threw a lot of, away a lot of interesting, interesting pictures, I thought, but I got to look through them. I got to, I got to see Germany. I got to see Ireland. I got to see, um, Italy. There's places in Italy and, and some other places that, that the guy had, he was an airline pilot, and he'd gone a lot of different places, and he has family in Germany. He has family in Ireland. So it was, you know, it was, it was pretty neat. I think the family actually, the Ireland family, was actually his wife's family. And I'll explain to you why. The lady with, the, I think it's the lady right on the end with the curly hair. I think she's the, she's the one. I think she's the one that was married to the, I think it was her, she passed before he did. But I think it was there, it was, it was hit, uh, so she was his wife. I think that's how it goes. I'm not positive how that worked out. Um... But this photo went, it, it got several bids. It actually, it actually initially got bid on. I, I was contacted because the last name, her last name originally was, I think it's Fury, F-U-R-E-Y. And after I listed, yeah, I think it was 13 pictures I listed from there at my first run through. And I mentioned one of the pictures, I mentioned, uh, her name in the thing and her nephew who lives in Florida contacted me and asked asked me about and asked me about the pictures and stuff so he said it was his aunt and everything so I thought that was pretty neat and uh, but yeah he bid on it he did not win this one this one went to someone else um, I don't think he wanted to spend a whole lot on them, but he wanted some history of his, some history. So he, he got some history. So that was really pretty good. I'll show you those in a minute. So this one went for six bucks. Let's see. I got it for free. And listed them, I listed them May 1st, and they sold May 10th. Yes. And this one was 601. Okay. And okay. So next. And this is another, this was, you know, this one had some interest, Branchville, New Jersey. I'm not sure who the guy, who the writer is. Uh, it may have said on the one picture. I don't think so. 
And I don't think he said who the writer was. But anyway, this actually went to um, a historical society in, in that town in Branchville. So I thought that was... I don't, know, well, I don't know if it was in that town. It was in the county that that town's in. So, but yeah, so it's, that's, you know, same thing. I didn't pay anything for it. I got $3.82. So there were some bids on it. So that was pretty neat. Okay, next. And these pair of shoes sold. I, I paid $4 for these. Got them at Goodwill. Uh, the problem with them is these kind of shoes do sell pretty well. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. A size on them anywhere, so I had to measure them, measure, measure the inside and stuff, and, and and gave the measurements in the listing. But I made sure the person who was buying them was aware that there's no size written on them, so it's just, I'm just going by measurements. And they they didn't come back, so but I sold them. I sold them pretty cheap, so because of that. So anyway, I actually think I lost money, but I listed them May May first, no May third. And I sold them May 10th, and I got $8 plus shipping. So, I mean, I didn't lose too bad. If I did lose, I didn't lose too bad, just a little bit. So, not bad. So, anyway, it was nice. So, next. And this is the same lot. And this one was won by her nephew. So, I thought that was cool. And only 99 cents. So, and I combined shipping. So, and he got, and then he got this one. This is the same lady, much younger. Look at those cool old bird houses in there. I I, I don't think I've seen them now. I don't, I'm not sure where this. It says Sagamore Camp. That's right. It was Sagamore Camp. Ooh, I think I looked that up. I think it was up in New York. I, th I think. So she's obviously not in Ireland at this point anymore. So next. And this is same lady in her first communion dress and and these these went to the this one went to the nephew they decided to get 10 bucks for this i knew this was going to have a lot of interest so i didn't start it at 99 cents i figured it would have a lot actually i figured it would get more than one one bid i actually thought it would go higher so it it just has there's a lot of interest there there's i mean she's holding some rosary so there's some there's some, you know, religious interest, and then of course, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's a religious, you know, photo, so you know, it tends to have some things. But yeah, that had the last name in it, and that's the picture that he was interested in, and then he was interested in some more after that. So, okay, next, he got this one too. Um. Yeah, so, oh wait, those two, yeah, so you got this one, and, and it's just a little picture, you know, the little boy wearing that, he had a cool, you know, cowboy and Indian shirt on, and look at that, 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 this has got like, uh, it's actually, you know, you got like holes poked in the collar and then it has like leather straps going through it. I thought, well, that's pretty neat. So look at that. Look at that hair. Just, just that is such a classic picture. Next. And this is the whole, the whole, the whole crew. This is the whole, this is the whole family. Well, the, the, the children anyway. So, um, thought that was pretty neat. Next. And this is her again on some horses in, in West Orange. And, yep, that was it. That's all the ones he got. So I thought that was pretty neat. So, okay, then I sold this uh, Bible story book. Um, I paid $1.29 for this. Sold it for eight ninety nine. Listed it March 21st. Sold it May 10th. Next. I had a little run on those. I was selling a lot of those this month. And these I sold as is for parts because I couldn't really get them. I couldn't really tell if they would work or not. And one was missing a battery cover, and so I just sold them for parts. I don't know whether they worked or not, but I ran them at auction. And if you've been watching my videos, you know 
Oh, excuse me. That I bought a bunch of this. I bought a big uh, tote full of these kind of these little train sets for five bucks. And so these uh, geo tracks, yeah, geo tracks. So I paid thirty-eight cents for this whole this whole bunch out of that lot, and I listed it. I listed it March seventh, and this and it sold for it sold May tenth. So it got it ne it never got any bids, and I think I think what I did is I think I had it. I think I started the, started it the first time in nineteen ninety five. And this time I probably went down to nine ninety nine, and then I got bids on it. So it sold for eighteen bucks so plus shipping. So next, and this might surprise some of you, but yes, you can sell these. Some of them sell really well. Yeah, I consider these to have sold very well. And that is my front lawn. And that is my lilac bush out there. In case you want to know. And it actually, the lawn actually, the guy who lived here before me had a garage out there I mean, for working on cars and stuff. So there's a big lot out there that they park cars on. But he also, right in front of the house, he graveled right in front of the house. So the whole front of the house was graveled so that he could park more cars in there. So, and uh, he had a gun shop in the front in, in the front room. The room that I'm sitting in used to be a gun shop. But, um, yeah, so he don't live here anymore though. So anyway, yeah, so I listed these, uh, I paid five bucks for them. I listed them April 26th. I sold them May 10th. And I got 50 bucks plus shipping. So, and I haven't heard back, so all is well. And let's see, uh, I have some other ones listed too. I haven't sold them yet. So next, it's cassette tape. And I don't know where it came from. I th oh yeah, it came from the the house with the pictures. Same same property. There was some cassette tapes and stuff in the stuff that was in my yard sale. And I just you know nobody's gonna buy this thing at my yard sale. So I just threw it on eBay just just for fun. And you know people had sold them, so I didn't pay anything. I listed it uh, April twenty seventh, sold it May eleventh, and I got three and a quarter plus shipping. So cool. I know it's not thirty dollars. I know. And the complete guide to manga. Got this at the niche in the bag sale, thirty-five cents. Listed it May thirty-first. Sold it May or listed March thirty-first. Sold it May eleventh. I got ten bucks plus shipping. So that's good. Hey, you know if you haven't watched my videos before, and you like the kind of stuff I sell, go ahead and hit the like button. That'd be cool. Um, I, I, it's just run-of-the-mill stuff. I'm not big into antiques. I'm not big into... It's just run-of-the-mill everyday stuff. And I pay my bills. And I bought my house. Selling all this kind of junk. And uh, merchandise. Merchandise. So this is what I... This is... This is uh, selling stuff people want, I guess. Just selling people the stuff people want. So next, and these I actually had for a while. There for a while, this is a pretty good craze. I don't know if it still is or not, but a lot of people were buying these metal bookends, and I thought, well, whoa, you know, that's you know, these there's like my the library. I remember when I was a kid, the library in the elementary school and the middle school I went to, were this is they had tons of these things, and they they had tons of these things, so. I sold a few of them. This this isn't the this is the most recent one I sold, but I sold some other ones, smaller ones before. I don't think I have any left though right now. And I don't know if they're still selling, but I actually didn't pay anything for these. I actually, uh, I picked them up. For, I I picked them up for scrap metal. Is what I what I got them. <laughs> and. Uh, just on a whim, I looked them up and I thought, well, I'm going to get 15 cents for them, scrap metal, so I might as well try list them. So I did. And uh, they were listed for a while. It, it, I would say probably mid-2015. And my thing says October 2015, but I know it was earlier than that. So uh got a couple years in there. They sold... May 12th. Oh, and I got $8 plus shipping. So, 
Eight bucks plus shipping. I was happy. They're gone. So, next. Pampered Chef. Picked this up at the Goodwill. I couldn't believe it. For a buck. Picked it up for the Goodwill for a buck. And I listed it on May 12th. Sold it on May 12th. And I got $9 free shipping. So, made a little bit of money. Quick money. And then this. Paid a buck for this. And I listed it May 11th, sold it May 12th, and I got 10 bucks. And apparently, the person asked me if I'd ever, the person who bought it when I got it asked me if I'd ever actually opened a can with it. And I said, well, they, and they said, because this thing, this, I think this is called the barrel, they said it was worn out. It looked really good to me, but I didn't open a can with it, so it could have been worn out. One thing for sure, if it wasn't worn out, he was telling me it was worn out, so he has one at home that was worn out. And so I was going to get his old one back. So I just refunded him because, well, there's no point in having him ship his ship junk back to me. And if he's right... And it is junk, then I don't want it back anyway. And if he's just got another junky one he's going to send me, I don't want that one either. So I just refunded him. So that was that. So, all right, next. But they do sell, you know, so next. And this is, uh, I got this at the niche in a $5 bag sale, man. I paid 35 cents for this thing. I listed it. April 1st, sold it May 13th, and I got 15 bucks plus shipping. I know it's cheap. I had it for 30 but I got to eat, <laughs> you know, so I sold it. So, next. These, I had these for a while. Uh, I've actually had four of them. I bought these at, uh, I got these at, at Got them. I got them. I got them at uh, what do you call it? At Goodwill store. I paid a dollar seventy-two for the pair. So I had four initially. And I sold them. I sold them in, in two lots. So and they're both sold now. So I paid a dollar seventy-two for the pair. I listed them October first last year. Sold this one May thirteenth, and I got twenty-five dollars and forty-nine cents plus shipping. So. I'm good with that. Next. And this was... I bought these at Walmart. They were clearance. I paid three bucks for it. And I'm all out of them. They started... I had them for... Let's see. I listed them... I listed them January 31st. I hadn't really sold many of these. Actually, I hadn't sold any of these 35 watt ones. And I think this was the first one. And they're all gone now. They, all of them finally sold out. So... Apparently, what happens when I listed them? I listed them at a, a fair price, and they um, and I just got undercut. <laughs> you know, that's the only thing I can figure because now all of a sudden they're all selling and they all sold right out. So anyway, uh, May May thirteenth, I sold it, and well, I got twelve twelve twenty four for this one. I, the, my store was on sale, and it was free shipping. So. It went, it went in a flat rate, but I didn't make a whole lot on it. If, you know, might have just broke even, got my money back, which I'm fine with because I probably shouldn't have bought them. So anyway, that was, nope, nope, one more thing, one more thing. And I got these at the Goodwill. They're just, it's just some, some older, older combs. I bought these for fun. Um, they were $1.29 for, for, uh, for the pair. Yeah, for the pair, because I did use, I used, they were actually $1.29 each, but I used a half off card that day. So I got the whole pair for, what is that doing there? I haven't, okay, a little late on the, on the uptake there. Um, that was just, I just got a little notification from eBay about a uh, receipt for my payment for shipping, which I took care of all my shipping before I started this video. Finally got it. So anyway, yeah, these are just goody combs. There's two combs in a pack. Paid a buck twenty nine for the pair. 
I listed on May 12th. I sold on May 14th. And I got $12.71 because they ended up in the sale. So plus shipping. That was plus shipping. So I made money on them. So again, not a lot, but I made money. So for everything altogether, I paid 35 bucks. That's what I paid for everything. And my gross sales for the week were $355. Not a lot, but it is many. And it's better than $255. So I'll take it. Now I had that no sale and I had that refund. So it was, that was $18.99 altogether. So uh, my, my, my net, my net take on, on that was $336 was basically my net take on those for the week so I can live off of $335 I, I, I would like to live off of more but this, I'll just say that the the first week of June has been pretty good to me so but May was kind of a kind of a bad month for me so made enough to pay my bills though so that 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 really is all that mattered okay so that's it that's all I have for you. I want to thank you for stopping in. If you're not subscribed, I ask you to subscribe. I don't post that. I don't post that often. I wish I did, but I post maybe once or once or twice a week. And uh, feel free to. I tend to answer pretty much any comment, and even if you're being mean. You know, I uh, I try to deal with whatever comment in a in the best way I can. So um, if you just want to troll me, you, you won't work because I I'm usually thankful for criticism. So ah, uh, I won't work. You won't make me yell at you or anything like that. I won't get fired up. You know, um, yeah, that's it. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks, you st thanks for stopping by and uh, keep on listening and keep on making money and I'll keep on listening and remember fourth quarter is coming the more you get listed now the more we'll have ready to go when the time comes so let's keep them let's keep listening keep moving so all right have a great night take care bye bye